have uh, instigated an interesting conversation on LinkedIn and <laughs> gathered a lot of results and feedback. Can you share a little bit about that? I posted a poll on LinkedIn asking just generally to my network how they might respond if they witnessed harassment, microaggressions, or discrimination in their workplaces. And there, there were four options on the poll. One was anonymous reporting line only. The second was close work friends only. The third was direct manager or HR representative. And the fourth was none of the above. I didn't really have too many expectations going into this, though you know I am quite familiar with the research on this topic. I was curious to see how my network would respond to this poll just sort of in real time. And after a week passed, we, we got a uh, you know, really good number of votes. I think it was uh, 2,400 or so, so quite a few votes. Um, we ended up seeing 12% of people responding anonymous reporting line only, 21% responding close work friends only, and 56% percent rather responding to direct manager or HR representative. And 10% also responded none of the above. And what, what interested you most from the answers you got or surprised you most from the answers you got? Yeah, yeah, it's a good question. So in the research, there's a lot of focus on the people who don't feel safe reporting or for good reason too, because we want to ensure that when people witness discrimination, they're able to access resources and they're able to report things both for their own accountability and, and healing uh, and also to help the organization address these pressing issues. Now, what really surprised me was that more than half of the people who responded to my poll answered direct manager or HR representative. And I see that there's, there's, a, there's a glass half full and a glass half empty way to see it. The, the half full way is, wow, that's great. More than half of the people who surveyed or, or who were surveyed felt safe talking to their direct manager or their HR representative. And the glass half empty uh, way to view this is, I can't believe that almost half of the people surveyed didn't feel comfortable using an official reporting mechanism. Because I think both of those things can be true at the same time. And especially if people aren't comfortable using formal reporting mechanisms at work, it makes it especially important that they have alternative resources to turn to, to ensure that they get the outcomes that they want and organizations stay accountable. And so what are the implications of the poll for workplaces that are trying to create a real speak up culture and accountability? Mm. I think it's to recognize that there is going there there is a demand for both internal accountability and formal reporting mechanisms and ways to to report and ways to ensure accountability that don't just rely on those formal tools. I think many organizations over rely on those formal systems and say essentially if our HR representative is there to take care of it, then we don't need anything else. But even from this poll, we can see that if you chose that approach, you would be missing out on 44% of the harassment, microaggression, and discrimination complaints that you could potentially receive. And with tools like Not Me that can give you ways to report outside of the formal structure, all of these things are necessary to be able to meet the full needs of your workforce. I think you're saying the same thing, which is like when you put the employees first, it is as a byproduct, the best thing for the organization. So you're actually doing a service for both and not choosing one or the other, which I think is part of the problem that we have with where we are is often people or platforms think they need to be on one side or the other, but mm. actually by prioritizing the employee it is the same as prioritizing the organization. However, the inverse isn't necessarily true. Right, that's a very good point. I think the current paradigm puts the onus of the decision onto the individual of whether to take care of themselves or whether to help their company. And that's a burden that no individual should ever have to bear. If organizations redesign the way that they approach feedback and reporting, they could genuinely create a win-win for everyone. They could better support their employees and they could better 
create feedback cycles that help them as organizations improve whether, uh, rather than, putting, than pitting it as an us versus them sort of issue.